Tom Slingsby, let's start by saying congratulations on your third World Sailor of the Year award. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels pretty cool. Uh, obviously, I've it's an individual award, but I was part of uh, some great teams with America Magic and the Australia Sail GP team, so I feel like they deserve it as much as I do. I was just sort of uh, the, the face of it, but I had amazing teams behind me. That event in Villanova probably came at a nice time for the judges to uh, to see your name. Do you feel a bit like that? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think the, the AC one, um, I think there were a couple of other teams there uh, that won three world titles in a row and then yeah maybe the ac world series was the thing that put it over the over the limit but uh yeah no the public voting it was uh it's nice to win something that's public voted let's go back to today what were the goals when you left the dock today with patriot uh obviously we're still sort of this essentially commissioning the boat uh, we had one good day on tuesday and we're just trying to build off that uh yeah, the boat is, is very different. It might look the same, but there's a lot of control systems and things like that which are different, and we're just trying to expand on that and keep the development happening. We spoke to Dimitri, your mechatronics lead, and he said that the changes in the rules have allowed them to kind of exploit those changes with different systems on the boat. Do you feel like you may be able to do new maneuvers new sailing techniques with these ac-75s the next generation mm, i'm not sure if you'll be able to do essentially any different type of sailing maneuver out there My, what the the new rule does with the closed loop control system is it allows you to be a lot more accurate and sort of uh, save your oil you're not going to overshoot systems and things like that as much so that's where it helps uh, but no I can't imagine we're gonna do many crazy different maneuvers no flips or 360s out there but uh, yeah I, who knows uh, maybe allow you to do something different with the with the sail setup now yeah for sure the sails uh, you can sort of control them a lot more accurately and you can move them together you can move them split so you got to just figure out what works best today the conditions were 15 knots a little bit bumpy but not too bad were those conditions you'd expect Patriot to be uh, comfortable sailing with yeah I think those are the conditions Patriot is known to be fast uh, she's known to be a bit sticky in the lighter airs and and a bit more bump uh, we've got adhedral foils which generally give you a little less margin in the waves and then also it's a bit flatter bottom compared to the the deep bustle so it uh, is a bit sticky in the light so but in those conditions it was half a meter 0.7 of a meter waves maybe and uh, 15 to 18 knots yeah we're ripping along doing over 40s upwind that's pretty cool based on what you've just said can we expect the new American magic AC-75 to look very, very different to Patriot. Uh, I don't know if I'm giving anyone a scoop here, but yes, the, <laughs> the, the new AC-75 will look different. This is a lighter air venue, and uh, I think the team and we all have learned that you've got to have a boat that can go in and out of the water comfortably and not get a huge drag hit when it does touch down. So, yeah, the boat will it'll have a bustle. There you go. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing, Tom. Okay, cheers. Thanks, Thanks guys.